Praise God and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64 with Colorful Artie, everybody. So, I think we only have 10 days of fall left. Let me check. Yep, 10 days of fall. Oh, they're going by fast. We might finish fall up this episode. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? So one thing I'm going to start doing is buying more cake. May I help you? I'd like cake. Always buy cake, because that puts points on your card. I want to start befriending the kids in town, and they really like cake. Which, cause, why wouldn't they? Cake is amazing. Hey, Harris. Fall is a good time for eating, eh? In the old days, the farm was lively and cheerful. Artie, work hard to bring it back to life again. I, I, I will try. Hey, kids. I brought cake. Thank you! I like you a lot. When you learn how to read books, you can read signs, too. Yes, that's true. Hey, Kent, have a piece of cake. Thanks! I'm going to have a great big farm when I grow up. There are a bunch of scenes you can uh, get when you befriend the kids here, so I want to trigger those. Wow, is this for me? Thanks! I want to learn how to read books. Oh, good. Hi, you always look busy. Uh, that's because I'm, I'm trying to keep busy, Pastor, which means sometimes you can't play Harvest Moon 64 all the time. Sometimes you got to focus on other things. Hi, Maria. I also like reading books at bedtime, but sometimes I fall asleep while reading. Oh, Maria, I've, I've been there with audiobooks before. That definitely strikes me as something Maria would do. Are you sure? Thanks. It's always such a relief to finish the harvest. I'll be busy again soon, but at least I can take a rest. Oh, he's actually showing a different emotion sprite. Yeah! Uh, that was bad. Hello, everybody. Wow, today was a boring day. The highlight of this day was me buying cake and giving it away. That's kind of sad. Hey! Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, I came to ask a favor. We're short of hands building the bridge in the mountain. Would you help? We'll pay you for the work. We're starting tomorrow. Come if you have the time. I totally forgot. They're finally rebuilding the bridge. I forgot that happened in late autumn. I thought it happened in, like, summer. And they were just being lazy. Yeah, but anyways. Finally, we can build the bridge, which will give us an easier access to the summit of Moon Mountain instead of having to climb the tree. I'll get more into that uh, tomorrow when I actually help out. I do want to help out every day. You get paid a bit of money, and people like you more, so... Win, win, win. I guess I'll be giving away eggplant in town today. Hooray! People like that, right? Nobody likes eggplant. I'll soon be the most unpopular guy in the village if I start f giving away free eggplant. Oh, oh yes! We finally get this scene! What are you doing to Cliff? Huh? Oh, the horse's name is Cliff, too. Maybe that's why we seem to be kindred souls. Such pig-headed talk! Our Cliff is so much more handsome than you! Come on, Cliff! What a short fuse! All of a sudden, she gets all serious. Oh, yep. That means we're becoming good friends with Cliff, and that also means Cliff is getting closer to marrying Anne. Interesting. Hey, Gray. Have an egg. Sorry. If you want to win the horse race, ride it and let it run every day. He's actually talking to us. Yay! I forget. what Anne, what affection level are you at? My brother's actually very kind. Our mother died early. Our father was busy, so my brother took care of me. Yeah, that's right. She's at a pink heart. I should buy chicken feed. I'm running pretty low. Oh, I forgot about that. So hang on, so I'll buy the chicken feed. Uh, let's see, I need a lot. I only have a few left, so let's get like 70. I like now having to buy a lot of ch chicken feed very often. Yeah, this, that's Miracle Potion for cows. Use it on adult cows to get calves. Pregnant cows give less milk. You want to buy some? It costs 3,000 G. Um, uh, no. Don't need anything, are you sure? So that's one way to get new cows, is to uh, impregnate your adult cows. 
And miraculously, your calves will always be female. But that's actually expensive and takes forever and not good. I actually like buying all my cows from Green Ranch. It's actually more cost effective to do that. Hey, Grandma. Hee <laughs> hee, you're always cheerful, but you're so muddy. You must be working very hard. Yes, I am. Hi, Ellie. Eat sweets to re-energize. I know, you, you told me that yesterday. Hey, Jeff, have a mushroom. Oh, thank you. Fall has come. It's the season for milk tea. Of course it is. It's clearly not the season for anything else. Also, that reminds me, we have a broken music box. I kind of want to fix it up. That music box seems to have rusted up. Here, let's see it. Mmm, oil it here, tighten it there, and there you go. And you know, this melody's a love song you give to a girl. Yes, I know that. I'm also gonna buy, buy the booth ever. Hmm, if you have that, if you want that, it means you've got plans, eh? The price of 1000G? But I'll knock off a bit and sell it to you for 980, sure. Thank you, we'll send this out to the farm. You literally can't get married unless you're good friends with Rick. Also, I've been meaning to do this. He actually has something we can buy now. I made that ocarina myself, 1200G, what do you think? <sighs> Here's the thing, if I get the ocarina, I will play it in one of the winter festivals, but if I don't, I actually play a different instrument, and I want to kind of show both of them off. So I'm actually not going to buy it. What? But this is great. I agree, it is amazing, and I want it, but I also want to show off what happens when you play something else. Don't work too hard. Alright, thank you for that. You can't see the connections between people, but you can with letters. It's exciting. Hey, Mr. Mayor, have an eggplant. Thank you very much. Is it really okay? You're not any better friends with me than you were beforehand. That's cool. Hey, May, I've got an eggplant for you. Thank you. I like you a lot. Oh, apparently she likes eggplant. Good for you. When you learn how to read books, you can also read signs. Yep. Hey, Kent, I have an egg for you. Thanks! I'm going to have a great big farm when I grow up. Okay, is that all you say? Wow, is this for me? Thanks! Wow, they are... They literally say nothing different from yesterday. Cool. Hi, you always look busy. I should probably give him more stuff, too. I really should. It's always good to uh, be friends with the people in your church. Oh, hey, Cliff. Have a mushroom. Is it okay? Thank you. I'm not good with people, especially girls. Most people don't seem to care much about me here. Oh, that's not true, bud. I like you. And I think Anne likes you deep down. There you are. Hi, Poppery. What? A music box? Wow, cute. What a beautiful melody. Here, it's yours. For me? Really? Thank you. I'll take special care of it. See ya. Keep up the good work. Now she's at a green heart. Yes. Yay, I have enough seats to do it. Just enough. Excellent. I better go buy some more seats tomorrow. At the flower shop before it's Sunday. And I think I'll start planting potatoes instead. Potatoes make better gifts. Alright, today's the day we can start work on the Moon Mountain Bridge! I've been looking forward to this for a while, because climbing the tree can be very irritating. And this now provides us a nice shortcut in our, uh, excavations through the Moon Mountain. A very nice shortcut. Of course, we won't be able to take it until the Moon Mountain Bridge is done, but I'm still looking forward to it. It'll be a blast. This will also make the days fly by, because it basically just advances the game several hours, lowers your stamina a bit, and makes it so that they pay you. Great, I'm already running low on stamina. Woot! <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go arrive at the Moon Mountain Bridge and be like, Yeah, I'm here to help! Like, cut one thing. Oh man, I'm so tired! Uh, fast, cheap, sturdy for a home extension called the Mountain Carpenters. I can't because they're closed right now because they're working on the bridge. Working in the coal mine, digging down deep, yeah. If you ignore the animals, you'll gradually lose their trust. Be careful. Oh my gosh, I'm actually friends with him now. This is amazing. Hey, Anne. 
I can't figure Poppery out. I wonder if she's got a guy in mind. Yeah, she's totally into Kai. You know it. Actually, the funny thing is, in the uh, Back to Nature and Mineral Town series, she actually is into Kai. Because they totally changed all the character relations so that it no longer makes any sense at all. Try and talk a lot with the shop people and villagers. Some are shy, but over time you'll learn many fane. Learn many fane. Here, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Morning tea energizes you for the day, and evening tea rests you. See? He's literally like a tea division. That was that was just really bad. I might cut that part out. Nah, I committed. I will not cut that part out. Okay, let's see. Actually, I haven't planted turnips ever. These are turnip seeds. They grow the fastest. One pack costs 200 G. I'm buying turnips. I should show turnips off, so yeah. This will be interesting. I totally forgot I never actually planted any turnips in my spring. But it makes sense, because turnips had the lowest effect out of all of the crops you can grow. Are you sure? Thanks. We've got lots of grapes again this year. That's good. That's very good. Here you go, Kai. Oh, thank you very much. Yep, he's talking more about the arid land. Alright, so it's time to work on Moon Mountain. So we go here in between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. There you are! I've been waiting! Work ends at 3 o'clock. Will you help? Yes, I will. Thanks, it's a really big help. Hope he wasn't waiting too long. Okay, now cut that tree stump. This is all automated. I'm not doing anything. Not even touching the controller. <laughs> Carry the lumber, but you do have to advance the text. Thanks! We could use some more help, too. Jack, you've got a golden axe. You can just cut it all up at once. Conk. Conk. Good work! Here's your pay! It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. So I can't remember how much they pay you. I do know they pay you by the hour. So I actually earned a decent amount of money, like a few hundred. It's not great, but it's not bad. And you'll notice it also advances the time to 3 o'clock, so this will actually make time fly. Actually, I just realized we have the horse race as the final event, so maybe we won't finish fall this episode. My grass has grown today, which means I get to show off how amazing the golden sickle is. So what do you do? You stand in the middle. Oh, it looks so cool! That's amazing. I love that. And that just means even more fodder for my cow. I'll be getting more cows, of course. But I do want to make sure I don't blow too much money before the horse race, so I have plenty of money to not really gamble with. Hi, Poppery. In fall, everything seems to be preparing for hibernation. Ew, good point. Here, have not a grape. Have a mushroom. For me? Thank you. See, I keep up the good work. That's right, it's Sunday. Anne isn't here. Well, Anne might be here, I guess. Hey, Grape. Sorry. You were there. Do you have anything to say? Oh, this is like... Tr this is treating me like uh, a scene that I didn't see. So basically, one of... I'm not gonna get the scene. So basically, the first scene between him and Poppery as like the rival romance scene is like, if you try to enter the flower shop, he'll be walking out and like, be like, uh oh, like, looking nervous and Poppery. It's like, yeah, here are like the flower seeds you bought. And he's like, think it's funny that I bought flower seeds, and if you're like, no, he's like, mm, okay. And then I can't remember the second scene. Oh, I hope I get the second scene. The second scene actually plays like an important gameplay role. Uh, I didn't talk. I'm a poor talker. 
An excuse. I know, I'll try. Yeah, the second scene, I learned, only happens in summer. And basically, Pop- oh, Anne is there. Poppery comes to Green Ranch, and like, Gray has planted flowers in Green Ranch. And those are blooming the entire year round, so even though you normally can't get flowers in fall or winter, if he plants those in the scene, you can get them all year round. My son's a buyer, have you met him? Yes, I have. Alright, I think Kai's at a good enough affection level now, but Jeff needs some work. Have a mushroom. Oh, thank you. Little Ellie's cakes are the best, obviously, because they're the only cakes in town. Are you sure? Thanks. My grandpa started the vineyard. You know, usually the second generation maintains the business and the third runs it into the ground. I've managed to keep it going, so I guess that's pretty good. Ick. See ya. Wow, we are actually getting some good development into Gotz's character. That's why I like befriending him. There you are, I've been waiting. Work ends at 3 o'clock, will you help? Yes, I will. Thanks, it's a really big help. Hit this with a hammer. I don't even have my hammer on me. I left it in my toolbox at my house. That was short. Good work, here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. <laughs> Grow, magic stump. Grow into a mighty tree with the power of the water I give you. I really hope I get to see the gray plants flowers see it's a uh, scene. I think it's too late at this point. I'll see if I can trigger the third scene. Third scene you have to go here at night. Nope. Never mind. I probably shouldn't try to trigger that scene, because I think feel like once you trigger that scene, they get married as soon as you get married. I really don't want that. <laughs> Jack, I don't think you can milk the chicken coop. <laughs> Jack's, uh, I think he's got a few screws loose at this point. Or I guess you could say I've got a few screws loose if I'm trying to milk the chicken feeding station. That's just a bit embarrassing. Alright. Well, we can get two eggs now, because I'm sure Stu and Kent would love one. Hey, Maria. Hey, Poppery. Wow, music box? Cute! What a beautiful melody. For me? Really? Thank you. I'll take special care of it. See ya, keep up the good work. Uh, let's give Maria an eggplant, I guess. Th thank you very much. Are you off today? Yep. Just visiting the kids in the church. Thanks. I'm going to have a great big farm when I grow up. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. I want to learn how to read books. Thank you. I like you a lot. When you learn how to read books, you can read signs, too. The kids just do not say anything different. Here, Pastor Brown. For me? Really? Thank you. Hi, you always look busy. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Are you sure? Thanks. My grandpa started the vineyard. You know, I feel like I told this story to you yesterday. I guess I just forgot. Or maybe they just didn't program enough things for me to say. Hey, why don't you dance with me next time? I'll teach you. Clearly, Karen, you did not see me boogieing the chicken dance last time there was the dancing festival. Or the time before that. Or are you saying, teach me a different dance? There you are! I've been waiting! Work ends at 3 o'clock, will you help? You don't have to wait for me every day, dude. I'm not gonna arrive at 9 a.m. sharp. Hit this with a hammer! Good work, here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. Oh, hey, dude. It gets dangerous here in the mountains when it gets dark. Let's climb down now. You always say that when I climb up here. Clearly he doesn't like me. You will have this mushroom. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. And hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Is it okay? Thank you. I was in lots of places before I came here. Hot places, cold places, some with fearful beasts or real harsh environs. 
Real harsh environs. Oh man, when I think about the harsh environs out there today, I do not like them. I apologize for anybody I offended. I'm sorry about that. It was not my intention to offend anybody. Remember when I said I was done getting the music boxes? Ho <laughs> ho! Yeah, that was not the case. And honestly, I have no reason, real need for music boxes. They're just kind of helpful. Because uh, Poppery is the only girl left who needs to get at the pink heart. But again, I don't have to get her to a pink heart until I think year three. So, I am good. Thanks. My dream is to have a farm when I grow up. It'll be a huge farm and I'll raise lots of cows and sheep. See ya. At least that's a bit different. Wow, is this for me? Thanks! I want to learn how to read books. Well, you know, Maria in the library is very good at that, so... She could probably give you some pointers. Wow, a music box! It's just like the other two I've gotten. For me, really, I'll take very good care of it. See ya, keep up the good work. <laughs> She's like, see ya, keep bringing me music boxes. Maybe we can finish the bridge today. It'll probably be tomorrow, though. Or the day after. There you are, I've been waiting. Arr, yar. <laughs> Apparently he be a pirate now. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Let's get this done. Okay, I can't remember if that means today's the last day or tomorrow's the last day. Hopefully today. Good work, here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. Okay, I'm definitely not finishing fall this episode. At the very least, because I am getting very tired of playing. Because especially now that I have, like, the greenhouse and all this, like, stuff to do, my days are extremely routine now, and there's not a whole lot new happening, so... For every, like, minute you see, there's at least, like, ten minutes that get cut. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but feels like it. Yeah. Thank you. Handsome Jack is coming through. Actually, wait, no. Not Handsome Jack. This is not Borderlands. Is it okay? Thank you. This is an easygoing town. I can relax. People in other towns usually don't like strangers. Good night. See you tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, I probably will see him tomorrow. Harris is everywhere. Also, this is something I've been wondering. What happens if you give people, like, a piece of lumber or some fodder? Like, I actually am kind of curious what happens. Because I know if you give them rocks, weeds, or poisonous mushrooms, they'll be like, I don't like that. Or, like, they'll react poorly. I don't know what happens if you give them, like, animal fodder, though. That's something I want to try. Alright, we're going to do one more day and call it quits. Hey! Hey, why don't you enter the local horse race tomorrow? I think you'd do pretty good. Um, I'm not going to enter for a couple reasons. One, my horse is not nearly high enough affection for me to be able to win it. And two, if you enter it, that's one less race you get to bet on. What? You don't have confidence in yourself? Just giving it a try would be a good experience. Well, I can't force you to do it. No, you can't. If there's one thing about Colorful Artie, he cannot be peer pressured into anything. Like, if you're trying to convince me to do something I don't want to do, like, you just will not be able to. Some might call it being stubborn, and I wholly admit I it can be stubborn at times, but I also do know when to admit defeat. Like, if somebody flat out just, like, proves me wrong, then I will accept that, and I will be like, alright, I was wrong, you were right. I accept that. I like to call it sticking to your guns. Ah, uh, studying hard, kids. That always warms my heart. For me? Really? Thank you! I call it study, but I only teach the basics. Is it good enough? If you think- if you're worried about being a good enough teacher, that's a pretty good indication that you care a lot, and that probably is a good indication that you are a good teacher. Thanks. I'm going to have a great big farm when I grow up. Wow, is this for me? Thanks! It'll be great when I can read books by myself. Guess that's something people should not take for granted. 
Yo, 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 yo! Oh, thank you. Little Ellie's cakes are so good because they always uh, have the mushrooms that you give me in them. Yuck. Mushroom cake would be disgusting. Even if you like mushrooms, you've gotta admit, that would be pretty gross. Here, Mayor, have some fresh wild berries. Thank you very much! Is it really okay? In the old days, the farm was lively and cheerful. Already work hard to bring it back to life again. Hey, dude, by the way, I still want to visit your daughter when she's sick. I need it to be a rainy Monday day. Easier said than done, I am sure. Hey, Poppery. I was born the day before the flower festival. Papa was so excited, saying that the whole village celebrated and the spring goddess blessed my birth. Gee, don't... Don't flatter yourself too much there, Poppery. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be the last day of work, because tomorrow's the horse race, so we physically couldn't work anyways. Thanks, it's a really big help. Okay, now cut that treat stump. And you're just hammering the sand. Carry the lumber, and he's supervising. Thanks, we could use some more help too. And that guy is uh, sawing next to a stump. This makes sense. Okay, it's done. Here's your pay. Finished, finally. This is a great bridge. Thanks for your help. Now we can all go up to the mountain. Because none of us could climb trees. Also, it sounded like they were complimenting the bridge I was standing on, which is not the one they made. Well, let's check out the new bridge they built. It should be a hoot and a half, or even a hoot and three quarters. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, so now we can take the bridge straight across this half of the screen. And now we can jump down and it provides us a nice little shortcut from the top of that mountain down to this area. Hooray! Alright. I'm not sure about you guys, but that was a really long episode from my perspective. Not even sure how much time we've been spending on this. I can't even check right now. But... Thank you so much for joining me. I at least had a lot of fun. I'm Colorful Artie. Next episode, we will definitely be finishing up fall. We will also be starting winter. A lot of exciting stuff is going to happen next episode. I might even be proposing to the girl of my dreams. We will just have to wait and see. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.